Hey guys, it's Zach with Zach's Muscle Motors. Uh, tonight I want to talk to you about the MSD box. This is 6AL-2, part number is PN6421. Um, real quick, I want to give a shout out to Rob Roush um, up in Mount Pelier, Indiana. He's the guy I get my parts from. Gets great discounted rates on everything. If you need parts, get a hold of this guy. He's absolutely amazing. And I'll try to add a link to his Facebook page in there so you can contact him. Um, I want to show you what's in the box and how to hook it up on a GM HEI style distributor. Uh, first and foremost, the one thing you look for is stickers. You get two big MSD stickers, you stick them on your firewall, back window, wherever, rep MSD. You also get a congratulations, you've made a great decision letter from them. And you get your instruction manual. This has four GM, Mopar, and Honda. We don't care about Honda. They can just take those pages out. And then they also give you a brochure with other products and stuff uh, to help you spend more money. So it's actually stuff you need, great stuff. Check it out. Um, also in the box, you actually get your 6AL2 controller box. Now, with this, what makes this nice, and I was gonna get a 6AL, I decided to do the 6AL2 because it does have like a two-step launch control. You can set your max RPM and you can also set your launch RPM. So like say mine will be roughly 3,000 or so. You go in here to your two-step RPM rev limit. You go in, use the little screwdriver that's included in your kit. You can go in and adjust it, set it wherever it runs best. You can also set your max RPM. And then this little one here, you use it to choose where you have four, six, or eight cylinders. Um, your wiring, basically what you've got is your big thick red wire goes 12 volt to your battery. The skinnier red wire goes to your keyed or switched ignition 12 volt power source to power up the box. Your gray wire goes for your trigger for your um, tachometer. And this is a ground for your battery. You'll have to lengthen that out. Now they also suggest if you need to lengthen these wires, you need to use one gauge larger than the gauges provided and quality connectors. Um, this thicker uh, encapsulated wire set here has two. You have an orange and black wire. This orange wire is for your 12 volt to your coil. And this is the black one for your negative to your coil. And then for our application, since we are using the two step rev limiter, we're gonna be using the blue wire and that will be 12 volt uh, to a push button or whatever. It will be 12 volt powered to activate that two step. Now you also have an extension for your HEI um, module delete kit this will get your so if you want to go inside the car or wherever you run this from your distributor from the new setup to your box which plugs in here so it's just an extension cable um, in your box you got little clips wire connectors um, you've also got a black ground wire that will go from your uh, coil ground here will ground your coil to the firewall they suggest an engine grounds if you're grounded to your firewall or just make sure you got a good ground uh, preferably an engine ground um, and also in your kit, you have these rubber stops. Uh, these are supposed to screw into your firewall or wherever you're mounting your MSD box. It limits vibration because these can be sensitive. If they get a lot of vibration, then it can screw up the electronics in it and make stuff loose and it won't work. So you wanna make sure you got those tight. Now I'm gonna kind of give you a quick rundown on what exactly you're gonna do to set this up because it looks kind of daunting, but um, actually in the instructions in the manual, it's really quite simple. Um, to take your cap off on these HEI distributors you have like a little push down lock L clip deal on here a little spring loaded and use a Phillips or a flathead flatheads work best in my experience you push them down and twist them loose and they'll come off I've already loosened up the rotor for this you take it off and you got your mechanical advance mechanism in here uh, always check make sure it's free flowing and you can also buy kits you can get them at just about any auto parts store I haven't seen them at AutoZone in my area, but you can get them from uh, online suppliers or I've even seen them at O'Reilly's in advance. Uh, these spring kits, you can get tighter or looser springs. If you're running a stock application and you don't have such a, a quick uh, timing curve, you can put a tighter spring in, um, which will kind of keep the timing curve slow. If you're using more performance, higher, quicker revving RPMs and that kind of thing, you want to use a softer spring. It'll open up a little faster, gets your timing advanced where it belongs faster. Now. Basically what this kit does is with the stock um, distributor or ignition control module, you're getting 12 volts to the coil, 12 to 14 volts, that's it. That's all these things will put through. You can get some that'll handle a little bit more, but basically you're getting what the battery gives to it because it's plugging directly into this. These are sh junk, okay? Complete junk for anything uh, that's more performance. If you're gonna do anything that's performance based, you're gonna need something that's gonna amplify your voltage. Um, these just don't do it. After 
three to 4,000 RPMs, they start to spit and sputter. Um, they were good technology when they first come out. For stock stuff, they're still not bad. For you know, OE replacement, they're great. Um, but anything performance-based, you're not gonna wanna do it. You're gonna wanna get one of these. So what we're doing is instead of taking and putting 12 or 14 volts of the coil, we are now using this box to amplify that to uh, 535 volts to the coil. And that makes for one hell of a nasty spark. If you're testing it, I suggest keeping your fingers away from it. It will put you on your ass with a quickness. Um, that's a simple fact. It's, it's extremely nasty. And it also sparks multiple times uh, per rotation in the cylinder. So instead of getting one spark off of your stock HEI uh, system, you're now going to get multiple sparks up to 3,000 RPM in your cylinder. So cold starts, even hot starts, better fuel consumption, more horsepower. Um, some people said they've had 20 horsepower added to their vehicle just by adding one of these boxes because it's that much more efficient on burning the fuel. Now, basically what this box is removing is your ignition control module and it's doing it by this little wiring harness. There are three bolts or three screws, if you will, here, here, and out to the side where your condenser is. You take those out and all you're doing is you're adding this purple and green wire which connects to this extension that I showed you which connects to this portion of the box and you're unplugging it, you're plugging the green wire, or excuse me, the purple wire in with your white wire, and your green wire in with the green wire. Now these are two different size connectors, so they can only go in one, you can't mix them up. They've got these little 3 16 plastic clips that will mount your wiring and hold it in place so your uh, centrifugal advance and everything doesn't get into your wiring, so there's no problem with that. And it's also got this really kind of crummy, I'll be honest, uh, rubber grommet that slides into where the original would go in is to help kind of keep the wires from getting banged up along the sides and getting uh, little rips and stuff um, to ground out on it alongside the metal and you know tearing up the coating. They don't hold it in place very well so you're kind of relying on the plastic clips. I don't care for that much but it will work. So that's pretty much it. Everybody kind of gets concerned about oh, I don't know if I can convert that over. It's got to be a big job and that's it. Just take your rotor, take your cap off, take your rotor off take the stock ignition control module out of it, three little bolts, and then you replace it with this two wire plug-in and that's it. And that's pretty much the whole setup. And then of course you find you a place in your car, um, some guys will mount them on the dashboard if you got a race car, which is probably where mine's gonna go because then I can control my two-step from inside the vehicle, or you can mount them to a firewall, a fender, anywhere you've, you've got a good solid mounting surface to go to and then basically run the rest of your wires. And you can go back and watch the video to see where these go. And it's as simple as hooking it up as that. And it's also got this LED indicator light here that will flash um, when you know it's powered on and it's got power. Um, but outside of that, that's pretty much it. And once I get this all installed, I will show you a video on my car of, and it's probably gonna take a little while, but how I got it all hooked up, where to route everything, and kind of show you how it works. But if you're looking for performance at an economic price and this is the best way to go. You cannot beat an MSD box. Um, that's pretty much it. So stay tuned for my next videos. I'm gonna do a video on timing chain versus belts and uh, gear drives, uh, crank uh, installations, uh, cam installations, uh, rod and piston installations, rings and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned, there's more coming. I appreciate all you guys that have liked and subscribed to my channel. And uh, also go to Zach's Muscle Motors on Facebook and like the page. You can keep up to date with the projects. And if you have any questions or want to purchase anything, give me a call. My number's on the page. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. Like, share, and subscribe.